This isn't the Bureau's first time in Bright Falls. 1970, 76, 8... Last one was in 2010. It's not exactly clockwork, but... This town sees way more altered world events than most. We knew it was just a matter of time before the lake acted up again. After the AWE in 2010, the FBC's research department set up a facility. The Lake House. To study the threshold in Cauldron Lake. Find better ways to contain the entity inside. Your tax dollars at work. When we detected a spike in paranatural activity at Cauldron Lake, before I even knew you were on this case saga, the Lake House was my first stop. I was shorthanded, hoped they could spare some help, maybe give us some intel on the situation. If I had any clue what was waiting for us in there, Saga, Hana just kept on driving. This is Agent Kieran Estevez responding to an AWE alert in the vicinity. I need to speak with the Marmons. So much for the welcome wagon. You all set up the perimeter. We're on the threshold's doorstep, so keep your eyes peeled. Yes, ma'am. Agent Kieran Estevez requesting entry. I don't have time for this. This shouldn't take long, okay? You see anything? Radio me. The lake house was run by the research department. Research and investigations don't really see eye to eye. What they call science, I call a violation of bureau protocol and human decency. Classic interdepartmental drama, your FBI saga, you know how it goes. Now, in retrospect, my low opinion of the research department may have clouded my judgment. Hello? Agent Kieran Estevez, Investigations Department. No one wants to check the individual carrying a firearm into a restricted government facility? No? Hello, and welcome to another exciting day here at the Lake House. As I'm sure you know, I am Dr. Jules Marmont, and this is my wife. Dr. Diana Marmont. And together, and we, we are, are the heads, heads of, of research, research at, at this facility. This facility. <laughs> we, 
We want to thank you all for helping us break new ground in our study of Cauldron Lake. That's right, Jules. But don't let our exciting work in threshold regulation and dimensional coupling keep you from observing the proper safety protocols. You said it, Diana. We run a tight ship here at the lake house. So, always remember the three S's. Safety, security, and censorship. It's a C. It's a C. <laughs> what? Yeah. That is the joke, Diana. Well, it's a stupid, f wonderful joke, Jules. We'll see you down there. Yeah, that seems healthy. Dr. Marmont's not here. Nobody is? Hmm. I'll have to check downstairs. They must all be working on the lower levels. I'll need to head down. An experiment? That bodes well. Changing passwords, huh?
that's handy. This should come in handy. As soon as I got in that elevator, my bad news detector started going nuts. Estevesta team, something's going on in the lake house. I want all nearby agents to- Oh, Stop shit! Level. One, get the lights on. <sighs> Standing around in the dark near Cauldron Lake, you're not smart.
Shay doesn't do a damn thing without power. Dr. Darling? Power core receiver. Plugging a core in should get the lights on. Need a higher clearance key card. That is not a regulation FBC weapon. Can't open it from the side. This key card could be useful. Oh. 
I wish they'd make these things lighter. The way I saw it, there was only one way out. Identify the source of the event and contain or eliminate it. Now, good news, I just had to keep going down. Bad news, the elevator liked to disappear. Turn the receiver on. At least the elevator's back. First off, a huge thank you to everyone here. Uh, the Lake House has made amazing strides in researching the AWE here at Cauldron Lake. Great work, team. I wanted to come in person so I, I could check in on the latest work. I, I, I won't get in the way. It's, it's not our view, so no reason to be scared. Did you hear that, Dr. Marmot? <laughs> While I'm here, I, I, I want to focus on the relationship between the shadow and the AWE site below the lake. The theory that the shadow even originates from the dimension this threshold is tapping into is compelling. Eventually, I want to understand how this dimension manages to convert subjective elements like art into objective reality. What are the constraints of this phenomenon? Can it, say, create altered items or even objects of power simply by manifesting them via a piece of art? These are the things we need to to accurately classify the shadow. I mean, that, that name is not very scientific. I mean, I came up with that. Shadow. So, any and all proposals are welcome. Uh, anything testing art's effect on reality by using the shadow's energy is preferred. Uh, to find answers, we'll, we'll, we'll first need uh, a, a lot of data. No wrong answers. And, when I return to the oldest house, I'll take back anything we end up with to run against a classified project called Hedron to build a comparative data set. I, I, wish, I wish I could tell you more. It's a very, very exciting non-physical forces impact. Oh, oh no, sorry, I, re I really can't, it is. You know what, maybe some of you can come visit. We'll have to get you clearance, of course, but if that would, maybe that can, <clears throat> you know what, I, 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 I don't want to, take the entire day talking, so the shadow represents a whole new area of research and I, I couldn't be more excited to start digging in. It is a great new world, people.
agent of the Federal Bureau of Control. I can assist you if you take no hostile action against me or any action that can be perceived as hostile. You never really get used to the shit you see in this job, but you can learn techniques to adjust, to function. Take six deep breaths, then get to work. Find the source, collapse the threshold. if you take no hostile action against me or any action that could be perceived as hostile. Do you understand? Well, I'll be damned. So what kind of entity are you? speak. That means you probably imprinted on a person or retained some of your former self's information. Previously human, maybe? Okay, I can work with that. I just had an unpleasant encounter with some other painted individuals. Any relation? What does that mean? Okay, hey, hey, calm down. Fire in his eyes and hands and bones. You need to cease all hostility right now. thing is really pissed off. Good news. It didn't try to kill me. Hey, baby steps. Living paintings are not typically on the Cauldron Lake bingo card. But something different was happening at the lake house, and I couldn't let it escape. Bright Falls didn't need this particular cherry on its already shitty Sunday.
stood back from the canvas. He didn't recognize the piece. Did he paint this? His mind was foggy, unfocused. He knew the Marmots were putting something in his food. A man in a white coat came to steer Lane back to his cell. He did not resist. He was too tired. He lay on the bed, but the stench in his cell wouldn't let him sleep. An acid stink. The turpentine. The paint. It was all over him. Years of it. A thousand paintings. A thousand more to come. A putrid weight he could never wash away. Cold hate simmered below the mist clogging his thoughts. Hatred for the paint. Hatred for the brushes. For the Mormons. For himself. Jules Marmont had once been a team. Rising stars in the Bureau, both talented in their own way. Diana innovated and Jules got funding from the bureaucrats. Cooperation led to respect. Connection. Then after a decade of hard work, the happy couple were promoted. Co-heads of research. Their first years at the lake house were good. Challenging, but not insurmountable. Not for them. Gradually, thoughts fell into their heads like drops of dark water. Why does she get all the credit? Why does he get any credit? With that, a crack formed in the lake house. The Marmonts and their work became arrogant, erratic. The crack widened and the water seeped in. September 12, 2023. Notes regarding a page of an Alan Wake manuscript I found in the archives. I checked the records, and this page is not in our inventory. I believe it manifested inside the lake house directly. I won't be filing this page. It'll just send Jules into a panic. The page is written in Wake's usual style, so I can't say for certain if it's being literal or figurative when it calls us monsters. What's interesting is that the page indicates that a painting succeeded in linking Cauldron Lake's threshold with our facility. Writing has always been a clearly superior avenue of research, but I never considered that the writing itself would dictate a different art form as the catalyst for our success. I cannot accept that. I can't allow Jules to stumble his way into success. Not after the years of work I put into this research. I got word yesterday that two writers are visiting Bright Falls. I will beat Jules to the finish line. Went bad. The truth was controlled here. The 
art was not art, just content for the experiment. There was a crack in the lake house. The Marmonts had let the lake in, but the water could not flow. It became trapped, stagnant, went bad. The truth was controlled here. The art was not art, just content for the experiment. <laughs> 